don't give a fuck about a motherfucking pole. I'ma pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking dog, man. The very first autonomous shuttle in the entire country picked up passengers and took them to their destination in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now this is kind of a big deal because shuttles like this could revolutionize public transportation in the country. And I thought, since this is such a historic event, that maybe you would like to partake. So come join me on this maiden voyage of a bus with no driver. Here, let's go. Look, Mom, no hands. There it is, the first autonomous shuttle on the streets of America. The guy talking meant that he is going to walk in front of the bus in just a few minutes to demonstrate how it senses pedestrians. So that's programmed before you guys leave out, or once you, so you know, an individual gets on. Yeah. The stations are defined by the client. Okay. So the client here would be the city of Las Vegas, yeah. and they wanted to uh, have. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Uh, well, three stops. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah. Where's the driver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No driver. So, oh, sorry. Look, my no ends. Slow down here <laughs> because there's people obviously in our way. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, stop. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> We obviously, we obviously increase well, giving a toy. the uh, sensitivity for all sectors to the yeah. search through traffic that we want to make cautious here. Um, <laughs> Well, how did you enjoy your ride on America's first autonomous shuttle? With all of that excitement, it was a little difficult to keep the camera steady. I do apologize. But being on board was amazing. Since it's an electric vehicle, it was very quiet and there were no exhaust fumes from a diesel motor. It was very clean, very smooth, and as you can see in the demonstration, it totally sensed when there were pedestrians getting in the way. I really hope this pilot program takes off. I would like to see more of these all around the country. You know, I can envision them running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're so much more clean and comfortable and enjoyable than the current public transportation systems that we have. 
All right, that about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? You can turn on a notification so that you'll never miss out when I release a new episode. And don't forget that I love hearing feedback. Please leave a comment in the section below and tell me what you think of this whole experience. Yes, the future is looking bright. All right, take care, everybody. I don't give a fuck up about a motherfucking pole. I'm a pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking dough. Man, I don't give a fuck up about a motherfucking pole. I'm a pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking dough.